so today I am reviewing this product the Honeywell PTM7950 which I got from mod DIY link will be in the description uh, As many YouTubers have uh, have reviewed, uh, this seems to be a good performance product for cooling, especially even uh, laptops. So, so this is the the laptop. This is an Acer Predator Helios 300. already opened it up so so it is recommended that this should be at least put in the fridge for an hour at least an hour before applying currently uh, this has uh, Arctic MX4 so I'll be removing that and replacing it with PTM 9750 7950 uh, so first make sure the battery has been disconnected and then I shall quickly remove the heat sink screws make sure the screws are in order So, as you can see, here's the heat sink is off and the paste is almost it's dried up and it looks it's minimal paste, but I don't think this is doing anything. So, I shall proceed to. it with the with alcohol pad Then the heat sink. Make sure it's completely off. The pads are still okay here and here, and also these ones. Um, and this pink uh, paste. It's fine also so as you can see the the dies are clean with the I've used the alcohol the alcohol pad and the PTM 9750 has been cut to size you can see here, here. okay exactly to size So now it's just to apply and they do provide you with this. So I need to apply it like this. It's good to use a precision tools such as this so that's you need to carefully <laughs> uh, 
bit difficult but it's easy with uh, this this is a bit difficult there we go easier than I thought recently do the same for the next pieces as you can see it's out easy There it is. So a bit difficult to apply then thermal paste, but persistence pays off and you can get it done. It's a little bit, I think that's okay. Just cleaning up a bit of the thermal paste. I'll still keep these pads here and here and here. You can see even here. So we now put back the heat sink. So as you can see, now I have applied the PTM 7950 successfully and I've reassembled the heat sink. And also, I also cleaned out the fans. So, put back the battery and then we see what's the performance like. Initially, don't expect it to be, but let's see after a while. So I'm benchmarking with Assassin's Creed Origins. And as you can see, temperature at the moment with Arctic MX4 is reaching on the CPU well above 90. And the GPU is 78 degrees Celsius, as you can see. The settings. On 
and high graphic quality. This is the SF Predator Helios 300 i7 9750h and 32 gb of ddr4m tx 1660 ti 93 92 81 degrees so now let's see what happens after application of ptm 7950 it was reaching at least 90 degrees celsius now after application of pm7950 at least it is below 90 degrees celsius but at 4000 megahertz or or the highest see if you decrease cpu's frequency via throttle stop you can check one of my videos on uh, how to do that using throttle stop say you decrease the clock speed to 3.4 gigahertz then you can get better temperatures of course uh, ranging from 75 to 80 degrees celsius i hope this uh, video has helpful uh, the good thing about uh, ptm 7950 is that there is no mess and you don't need to ever repaste because it will never dry off as uh, th the way it works is if it reaches 40 degrees celsius it, it uh, becomes a liquid in a liquid state that's why it's called phase changing material so overall good uh, good temperatures good performance uh, but I believe there is not much difference between thermal paste and, and this. It's just that this one, uh, you, you don't find any thermal throttling at high frequencies. So thank you for watching. Give a comment. Uh, like this video. This uh, immensely helps the channel.
Thank you.